Hello everyone, this is Tim Perfect from Two Canoe Software, and I wanted to show you how to use uh, MDS to be able to set up your Mac from a web server instead of doing it from an external volume. I had a prior video that showed you how to do this from external volume. In this one, I'll kind of build on that and show you how to completely automate this from a um, uh, web server. So uh, I've already created a workflow. So let me just verify and go through this. Uh, it's called Mojave plus packages plus, plus scripts. I selected a Mojave 10.14.3 disk image um, that was created from the Mac OS installer. And you click on the question mark, it'll tell you exactly how to do that. Um, I selected a package and apps folder, a scripts folder, and I want to erase and install the Mac OS on the target machine. So uh, the package and apps folders is in here, uh, and what it does is installs Boot Runner, uh, it, it creates a user as well as skips some of the, the uh, configuration screens, Firefox, Mac to Play Stick, Office, uh, Antivirus, and then finally uh, the Win 10. Uh, win clone package. I also have some scripts in here that I'll configure Wi-Fi, set the computer name, set the default dock, set the desktop background, and uh, enable SIP. Um, so those are covered in more detail in the prior uh, video, um, but those are just the packages, apps, and scripts that will be installed, and I am selecting the erase and install Mac OS so it will erase the target volume. Um, I'll have it automatically run the workflow uh, after 30 seconds. And then I'll use my automaton, um, which um, I need to set up to mount the disk image. So let me show you exactly how to do that. So first thing I'll do, I'll save it to a disk image, and I'll call this MDSK disk image. And I'll save this, and it'll prepare all the resources. It'll take a little bit to create this disk, disk, this disk image. And once the disk image is completed, I'll show you the contents of it and then we'll uh, proceed to copying that disk image to a web server and I'll show you how to automate the entire process. All right, the disk image is now saved. I save it to my desktop, so I'll double click on it and open it up. And you'll see that it's just uh, like the external stick, but it's in a disk image. Um, I have my applications config, I got the Mojave disk image, and I've got my workflows that have all my packages in it that I want to install, as well as a package that contains all the scripts I'm going to be installing. So the next step is to unmount this, and then I'll take this and I'll copy it to web server. Um, so I have a web server on an iMac locally here on my network. So I'll connect up here, and I'm under shared. And then I'll just drag this uh, MDS disk image over um, and copy to this uh, local um, volume. And at that point, I can then uh, install, mount that disk image from a web server and then run the workflow just like I would if it was local. So I'll come back when that's finished and uh, show you exactly how that's done. All right, it is finished copying. And so I will go to the, the actual um, website just to get the URL. So I go to imac.local slash, uh, I think I put it in MDS, and there it is, mdsdiskimage.dmg. So if I copy that link, I can see that this is the link that I want to mount when I'm in the recovery partition. So I won't actually download here. It makes no sense because I'm not imaging this machine. I'm imaging uh, a Mac Mini that I have here that I'm setting up. So let me switch to that. So this is mdsdiskimage.dmg. Uh, dot dmg in the uh, in the folder so let me show you the interface for the the mac mini sure oh there it goes so let me restart this and i'll hold down the option key and then we'll boot into uh, the uh, boot selector screen and once it does that i'll just do command r to boot into the recovery partition um, and then once it gets into the recovery partition i can uh, put in uh, or I can mount that disk image and then uh, start installing the OS. Okay, so that's, we are now in the uh, recovery partition, so I'll open up the terminal. And I'll make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. And uh, so now that uh, now that the terminal is open, I'll mount the disk image, hdiutil mount htt colon slash slash imac.local slash mds slash mds disk image dot dmg. And what that'll do is it mounts it off of the web server. And if I look in 
Uh, now I can just run that script, volumes, Mac deploy stick, and then run. And what that'll do is it'll launch the workflow selector uh, right off the of the web server, and then I can start uh, resetting this. And at the end, I'll have a fully uh, configured package installed script run dual boot Mac. So now the workflow started to run automatically and I canceled out of it um, because this would completely set up the Mac. But I wanted to show you before that runs a different way to go about this that is almost exactly the same, but it uses our automaton to be able to completely automate this process. Um, so the automaton is the uh, it basically acts as a keyboard and allows you to enter the commands in. So instead of waiting for the recovery partition to come up and running this command, it does all that for you. So let me go back um, and show you exactly uh, how this works. Um, so I'll quit out of the screen sharing with the Mac Mini and I'll go back into Mac to Play Stick or MDS. And in MDS, we can configure this automaton. If you buy this from, our, from us, at store.2canoes.com, it'll come with this firmware flashed on it automatically. Um, but uh, if not, you can set it up yourself for uh, with an Arduino. But if you purchase it from us, you just plug it in and configure it. So um, what I'll do is I'll click uh, Configure Autonomaton, and then I'll plug it in. And since it goes into admin mode for the first five seconds or so, it will um, detect it and automatically show the settings. There's a setting. So what it does is it does the uh, slash volume slash Mac to play stick run. And we want to change a little bit because we have to mount that disk image from the web server. So all we do is change it to HDI util mount that same URL, HTTP colon slash slash imac.local slash MDS slash MDS uh, disk image dot uh, disk image dot DMG. And then we also want to run the script after it. So we do and and. HDI util mount will mount the disk image, and then if that's successful, then it'll run slash volume slash Mac to play stick run. The one issue we do is when we mount this disk image, it actually isn't that name. It's called Mac to play stick resources. And so what I'll do is uh, I'll just take this name, see if I can copy it. There we go. So it'll run slash volume slash Mac to play stick resources slash run. So it will run this script here after it's mounted. So then we click on update um, and it will update the settings on that Arduino. And in fact, if we do configure, it'll read it again and we'll see that uh, in fact, it has these new settings, HDI util mount imac.local and then it'll run that. So it's perfect, exactly what I want. So now instead of uh, having to type all these commands, um, the Arduino, the uh, Instead of typing all these commands, the Arduino will do it for me. So let me go back to the Mac Mini. I'll turn, I'll shut it down completely. So I'll hold the power button and shut it down completely. So we go back to the very beginning. And this time, when I start it up, I'll just hold the option key down. So I'm just holding the option key down um, on the keyboard here. And then uh, turn the Mac Mini on. And then we should see it start up and show us the option boot screen. There it is. Now, instead of hitting Command R, opening up Terminal, running that command, I simply plug in the Arduino. Or I'll plug in the automaton. And after five seconds, it'll do the Command R to boot up from the recovery partition. And instead of... Uh, instead of having to type the commands and open up terminal, it'll automatically run those for me. All right, it's automatically selecting the terminal. And once the terminal opens up, it'll now run the command to mount the disk image. And then it will, uh, once it's mounted, it'll automatically run the um, workflow selector, imager. And then Imager will take over, and it's set up to automatically, after 30 seconds, set up the Mac Mini um, to image it or to install the OS onto it, as well as all the packages and scripts. And one of the packages just happens to be a Wing Clone image, which will provide the dual boot capability as well. So you can see 
when I plugged in the automaton, I haven't touched the keyboard since, I could move off and go and do something else. Um, and there is no external drive needed. It'll pull that, all the resources it needs off of the web server um, and image that machine. Uh, it's obviously, or I'm sorry, it's not really imaging, it's uh, um, uh, setting up and configuring it. So you can see this one is, it's uh, imagers now starting up and at this point it will count down for 30 seconds, give me an opportunity to cancel if I want to. Um, and at this point, the automaton is complete. It's done all its keyboard commands. And now the workflow selector takes over and boom, it's going to uh, do the uh, uh, installing of the OS, all the packages, uh, applications, scripts, all the setup, install the profiles that we've outlined inside the script folder, and the machine will be fully set up and ready to go. And all I had to do was hold the option key down and plug in the automaton, and then I leave. And I can move on to the next one. Uh, one key thing is that after the first reboot, um, or actually right now, the automaton is not needed anymore. So I can unplug that and start setting up the next machine. So um, you only need enough automatons for the number of machines to basically get this, uh, this the keyboard strokes going. So if you had three or four per person, you just plug them in and get three or four machines going at once. Once those are off and running, you unplug them, set them into the next one, and you can go through a large number of machines very quickly um, on the back. Thanks very much for watching. Um, I wanted to let you know that you can buy these uh, automatons directly from us. So if you go either to twocanoes.com and go to MDS or just head over to store.twocanoes.com, I'll put links in the description below, um, that you can actually buy the automaton fully configured, set up, um, and we're we pretty much uh, any place we sell it worldwide so we can ship it out on to you um, so we have them in stock now please go ahead and order some it does come with the software to do it so it's a great kind of matchup to be able to do it um, it includes the software as well as the USB cable um, and the uh, Arduino uh, compatible device inside the custom enclosure um, that was designed right here in Illinois um, uh, the other thing is make sure that you subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button. Uh, should be right around here, around here. Um, and you'll be notified of when more of these videos come out. Um, so thank you for watching. S click subscribe and head over to store.twocanoes.com and grab one of these uh, automatons um, with our MDS software and make your uh, Mac setup fast.